So I'm using the 6x6 mechanism die set and I'm using the gift bag panel. So that's this one here and then I've die cut the bow and I've also die cut these pieces here which will give you that hardware look but you get the basket in that one. And then I'm using the papers from my lovely paper pad. I adore this one. So this is the pop-up bouquet paper pad and I'm using this one here. I think, no, the polka dots is on another card so I'm using this one here today and you'll see that close up in a moment. So I don't know what order I'm putting up all my videos because I've filmed quite a few. So you might already have seen me put this one together. But if not, you want to die cut the main piece here. And it will give you all these slots and score lines. And then this one here, you want to die cut three times. And then these here are your strips for you to attach all the flowers. And I've already die cut those in that green colour there. So a little tip I find with this piece is it will give you all your score line marks but you might want to just embed them a little bit more so I'm just lining them up with a track on my scoreboard and just going back over those it just makes it a bit easier for you to fold. This is a 250 GSM I'm also going to score just between the cuts there as well. Again, you can see all the lines when you've got yours in person. You'll be able to see all of that quite easily. And then that one there. You don't have to do this. It does still fold. I'm going to just do these ones as well. If you just flip this over and you'll see you've got your score line between those cut pieces. If you just put a ruler or something, just push it against there and make it much easier for you to be able to lift and fold them like so and then that one there they're just a little bit delicate at this stage before we start adding those other panels you see now they all should fold in like this and then all of these score lines you can just fold and burnish everything will be a mountain fold even this score line which is quite close to that other one just take your time with it so you've got that one and then you've got that one right next to it and and then this one here again just be careful like so okay flip it over have these facing away from you you want these three panels towards you kind of flatten it again i'm going to use my quick grab glue here and i'm going to add my glue on the back of one of those and take one of these fold the edge and you want it so that the fold is facing you and then you're going to, this will be the same width as this piece here. So just lie it against that fold that you would have just made and then just fold that over. So you'll have this piece, it's like hinge. And then again, put your glue along there, fold the next one. And then fold that over and they should all lie nicely over the top of each other and then that last one so now you can fold them all this way so they were just that way just fold them this way and now you can add your glue over the front on all three of those tabs just on the tab parts Okay, and then just fold this right in half. You'll see everything is all concealed underneath there, which is what you're looking for. Okay, now if you carefully just open that up, you'll have something like this with these two tabs. It's going to be this way up. This is all of your panels to stick your flowers on. And these are your tabs to attach it to your, to your card blank. And I've got this one here that I've already put together. So this is a six by six card blank. And I've decorated all of the four sides here. So because it's six by six, you're going to want four pieces. I've got this mirror card that's five and three quarters squared. And then the pattern paper, the white embossed and the plain white, which is on the back there, they're all five and a half squared. And you can see that beautiful pattern paper there on the front. But this card's going to be displayed open. So this is going to be stuck inside this part here. So I didn't want to go too heavy with the decoration on the front, which is why I thought the pattern paper worked really well. So now we want to add glue to these two tabs and also on the bottom here. Hold it up like this and you want to sit this piece. So 
so that this fold here is joining the fold of the card and make sure you've got it equally spaced so you've got the border on each side so i'm just putting my fingers inside here to make sure that gets stuck down and then i'm just going to keep pushing that in i'll bring it out this way just keep pushing that in and then close the card and the glue on the other tab now will stick where we want it so whilst that's drying got all the flowers here what I did with these ones that's a bit different to the other videos that I've either already shared or are going to be sharing. I stamped these ones onto coloured cardstock using, it was this Distressed Worn Lipstick Oxide Colour. And then I used some of this one, Mustard Seed. And I also then used, this, used the same colour again to colour. And I just used some little blending sponges there. And then I used a fine liner and I just went over the detail in the stamped image there just to bring out some of the, the detail in the flower there so if you don't want to color them all in that's a quick way that you can you know get some nice detail in them so i've got all these strips which i already went ahead and die cut using the dies in the set and i like to stick all the flowers down on the ends of these first of all so they're all ready to go so all slightly differently positioned you see it doesn't take any time at all just a little bit of glue and whatever ones I don't use I can then add to the front and decorate that a little bit if I want okay so I've got a few strips left over so I'll keep them for something else so those are now all ready for me to stick down then in the basket and gift bag die set you've got your three dies for the gift bag this is this one here now this can be used as a stencil which i've got on some other cards but i've just die cut it in the pattern paper i also die cut it again in some cardstock so i just stuck the pattern paper over the top and then you have this die here which i die cut in a silver mirrored card and i've just popped it around those rings and then i've die cut my bow you can see there you get that lovely detail and that's either going to go there or it's going to go above the sentiment on the flat part. And then that's the dies for the basket there. Again, that's a stencil that you can use. So I've got my ribbon here and I'm going to feed it through that end. And then again through this end here. And this is your faux handle for your gift bag. I think that's just the right amount. Actually, I like the way that hangs because on other ones I've stuck the sentiment on the bag there. But I'm going to have this sentiment on the bottom of the card. Like I said, I might have the bow maybe like that next to it. That looked quite nice. So I'm just going to trim the end of that off there because I don't need all of that. And then I'm going to just pop some glue underneath there and just turn that around just so it doesn't lift the ribbon up might have to pop a little bit of hot glue under that just to keep it down like so and it's going to get flattened once it's in the envelope anyway but that's now all in place so now we can open up the card and you'll have your pop-up box piece but that's in there really nicely you can kind of pull it back a bit if you need to just manipulate it a little bit because I want that to stand open. Once I start putting more in it, you want to build a bit of weight on the back. Once those flowers are in there, that will stay open quite nicely. So now this is going to stick on the front. I like to stick this on next because that way I can see where I'm putting all the flowers because the basket and the gift bag, all of the panels that go on the front are all slightly bigger so they can seal this box behind so I'm just gonna stick that one in there and I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue like I said just under there just to keep that down so next we can start adding the flowers so I'm gonna pop a little bit of glue just on the bottom there and I'm gonna stick this one just kind of bring it right up to the top there and then if you close the card that will stick in place and now when we open it, you see you've got your flower there. And then again, I take another one. I 
again just bring that up make sure it doesn't poke out the side you want it in that back one if that's where you're sticking it so now we've got the two there and then i can take another one again put the glue in there and just kind of hold that in place and then i'm going to work on the next row so again i'm going to pop those in this time i'm just going to pop my finger in behind that middle one there it's quite easy then for you to be able to position it and just keep checking each time you close the card to make sure that nothing is going to poke out the sides so i'm going to carry on getting all of these stuck down Okay, I've got these two left over. What I like to do is fill the top there and stick these directly on to the card. So I'm just going to add some glue on that one and just slide that, pop it there. And then I've got this smaller one here. So I'm going to take that strip back off. I'll keep those. And I'm going to have this one just up there. It just adds to the bouquet, just makes it a bit, a little bit fuller. So I was just playing around with the positioning of that there. Now my heat gun's warmed up. I need to get this down because it's bugging me. So I'm going to pop a tiny bead of hot glue just behind that and then twist it around. I'm going to have to put it under that one as well. I think it's just the way I um, turned the ribbon around from the back. There we go. That's better. At least now it just stays down. Now my sentiment is going to go just like so, but I might bring it up a little bit higher so I can have that bow along the bottom. I think that looks really pretty, but I want you to be able to see all of the writing, so it might have to come up. I might have to go like that. I might die cut it again in silver and have a silver bow underneath, so you'll see that in a moment. So now I've got all these leaves here. And I'm just going to stick that down and get the silver bow cut in a moment. But now I can just add a little bit of glue and just pop all these behind. And each time again you stick this, just make sure when you close the card. See that there? It's just poking out, so I'd actually need to move that down. Just take that away while it's still tacky. That's better. Now it's hidden. So just check each time. But I'm going to get all of those stuck down. So that's everything stuck down. I think it looks gorgeous. A few stick out the top, but it's only by a little bit. You can see there. I'm not going to move them now. And most of the envelopes are always slightly bigger anyway. You can see the sentiment. And then I've popped the silver bow underneath as well. And then you've got your little handle there on your gift bag. So I hope you've enjoyed this pop-up bouquet inside the card. Slightly different to the other ways that I've showed to use it, but I hope it gives you more ideas on how to use your dies. Check the links in the description box below for all of the product that I've used today. And if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And that way you won't miss any future tutorials. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.